Okay, let's start. We got seven. I have seven o'clock here. We have okay. seven panelists, five attendees. What about Gar? Oh, here? he's right here. Right here. And it looks like the five attendees are all employees. Is that right, Chris? I mean, uh, Jack? Um, there's, um, I think, three employees and then um, okay. two people from the media. Oh, okay. Is this Jeff from the media? Jeff and Melanie. Yeah, I believe that's the same Melanie. Oh, okay. Um, and are you recording this, Jack? I am. Okay. All right, let's begin. Um, July 21st, uh, welcome to the Arlington Housing Authority regular meeting, um, a roll call. We have Joanne. Here. Gar. Yes, here. Fiorella. Here. And Nick. Here. And Brian's here. Uh, do we have Sandy taking notes, Jack? We do. Okay. Um, Okay, number number. Well, it's number three on the agenda. We'll jump right in. We got a pretty um, heavy agenda here. We need to do a budget revision um, for fiscal year ending 930 Uh It's in your packet. Um, it's pretty simple. Things have gone up in price. And um, any questions on it? I make a motion and we'll accept it. A, so I think we had a motion by Nick, second by Fiorella. Somebody's got some background noise there. It might be the attendees. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah. Second by Fiorella. So um, all in favor, Joanne? Yes. Nick. Agar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. And Nick? Nick. Yes. And Brian's a yes. yes. Motion passes. Number four. Approval of the Fair Housing Marketing Plan. It's also in your packet. Um, yes, I. Jack. Yeah, just to, to, to provide a little bit of context there. So the um, DHCD is requiring that all housing authorities throughout the Commonwealth have a Fair Housing Marketing Plan. Um, we were able to utilize um, the template provided by DHCD to create our own. Um, we also looked at, you know, ways in which other housing authorities were doing it and consulted inside just to, and, and also uh, spoke with our attorney just to, to, to create this, this plan, which, um, which is gonna help to, to ensure that um, residents of the Commonwealth, especially um, residents that of diverse backgrounds or diverse backgrounds that aren't, um, don't have the percentage net percentages necessary in our developments um, to get that, get the information about how to apply for public housing. Pretty standard. Anybody have any questions, Joanne? Well, I just wanted to comment on it. I, I found it fascinating. I keep telling people that <laughs> most of the diversity in Arlington is in the Arlington Housing Authority, which the statistics here show. Um, the only place where we also had to be compared to Boston, Cambridge, and Newton. And in senior housing, we have a smaller percentage than Boston, Cambridge, and Newton of Blacks and Hispanics. And in family housing, we had a smaller percentage of Hispanics, though we still had many more greater percentage than the town of Arlington. I just wanted to comment. So I guess they have to do some more advertising for these particular groups so that they will think of applying um, to the Arlington Housing Authority. Is that right, Jack? That's correct. And when we're required through this, we would be advertising uh, twice uh, for two, two, so two two-week periods in a given year. Great. Anybody Please. have questions? Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to go. Like Arlington, uh, according to these statistics, um, the Black population is 3%. In family housing, it's 17.3%. Just to give you an idea of how diverse we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, so we need a motion to accept that. I motion to approve the Fair Housing Marketing Plan. I second it. So we have a motion by Fiorella, second by Joanne. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Agar? Yes. Fiorella? 
Irela? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. Sorry. And Nick. Okay. Nick. <laughs> and uh, Brian's a yes. So number four passes. Number five um, contract for the fire alarm upgrade uh, at Drake Village in the amount of thirty one thousand four hundred. Pretty standard. Jack, anything you want to add to it? Yeah, we're we're you know moving forward with approving this um, this house doctor. Uh, this designer will allow us to, to get this project rolling as far as getting the fire alarm system at the Drake Cottages upgraded. So we're pretty um, we're pretty excited to get this work started. Obviously, we can do it. Do we have a um, somebody? Do we have any other question? Not just quick. Uh, I was glad to know that there's not going to be a direct connection to the fire department from these exactly. Bridges. And I'm just curious, in the other senior residents, is there a direct connection to the fire department? Yes, yes. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Do we have a motion to approve number five? Yeah. Moved by Nick, second by? Me. Fiorella. Uh, number five, moved by Nick, second by Fiorella. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Yarella? Yes. And Nick? Yes. Brian is a yes. Number five passes. Uh, item number six. So um, actually I, items um, number six and number seven are part of the same project. It's uh, for the 88 um, bathroom upgrades at Winslow Towers and Chestnut Manor uh, for those public bathrooms there. Um, they came out great. Um, and, you know, I, I think they, the residents have uh, appreciated that additional access as far as uh, bathrooms are concerned. And um, the, uh, our maintenance team indicated that the, the punch lists were completed and they're pleased with the, with the product. Um, so we are ready to, um, to sign off on the certificate of substantial completion as well as the certificate of final completion for this project. So but those are separate, but the first one's substantial completion then the next item will be uh, for final completion. Okay, so we'll, we need two separate motions then. Do we have a motion for number six? I move to accept the certificate of substantial completion for Chestnut Manor bathroom. I second it. Second by Fiorella. So moved by Gar, second by Fiorella. All in favor for number six, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. And Nick? Yes. And then we need a motion for number seven, the approval for the final completion. I motion the approval of the final completion certificate. Do we have a second? I second it. So that was number seven was motioned by Fiorella, second by Joanne. Uh, all in favor, Joanne? Yes. Agar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Brian is a yes. Number eight, approval of certificate of final completion for the fire pump replacement at Winslow, finally. Uh, it's in your packet. Any questions? I motion to approve the certificate of final completion for the fire pump replacement project. Car seconds. So we have it. So number eight is moved by Fiorella, second by Car. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Car? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. And Nick? Yes. And Brian is a yes. That moves us down to number nine. Approval of uh, a final completion for the office of the air conditioning project at Winslow Towers. Uh, Why does Jack need air conditioning? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put him on the roof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that was obviously a big job. It happens when you have a cement building. But uh, anybody have any questions about that? So it's final, Jack? It's all done? It's, it's all done, and um, awesome. at this point now we're hoping to expand upon the SOC pumps and uh, and add them over at Chestnut and um, in the rest of Winslow, um, and we're hoping that New Ecology will um, sign off on that. We actually met with them um, this past month, so where it, it looks very positive um, as far as getting that project, um, you know, and, and that would be covered through ABCD and New Ecology and in the Lean program. So we're hopefully. You know, in the, at the next in the next board meeting, and the one after that, we'll have more information and hopefully a contract to review. Yeah, it'd be great. 
So do we have approval for number nine? Yeah, I move to approve the final air conditioning uh, in Winslow Towers for the office of Winslow. Do we have a second? Uh, so we have, so we have number nine is moved by Gar, second by Fiorella. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. 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 Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Ryan's a yes. yes. That brings us to number 10. Uh, acceptance of the town CPA funding for $200,000 for the Hauser Building Electrical Panel Upgrade. Um, pretty simple again. Anybody have any questions about this one? I motion to approve the Building Electrical Panel Upgrade Project. I second it. So we have number 10 moved by Fiorella, second by Joanne. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Brian is a yes. Now, number 11, uh, acceptance of the town CPA funding in the amount of $600,000 for the Monotony Manor window replacement project. Thank you. I'm let Fiorella handle this one. Fiorella, you want to make a motion on that one? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I make a motion to accept number 11, the amount of 600000 for the Monotomy Mander in the replacement project. Second. Yes, so that was moved. Number 11 was moved by Fiorella, second by Nick. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. Brian is a yes. I just want to make a comment. Do you want to... Uh, Jack, and I'm sure you've already sent our appreciation to the CPA for the $800,000 that they've given us this year. Uh, if not, let's send them a, a note or something of that magnitude. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The 600,000 is for two years. Uh, so we're under number 12, acceptance of the community C CDBG funding, community, block, community development block grant funding in the amount of 350,000 for the housing building fire alarm project. Anybody have any comments on that one or questions? No, seems like a no-brainer. I no move brainer. to approve it. I move uh, the CDB G yeah. uh, 350 for the Hauser Building Fire. I second that. So number 12 is moved by Gar and second by Fiorella. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Brian is yes. Again, thank you to the town of Allington for that. Number 13, um, this is, um, we could go into executive session if you really had a question about it. Um, this is the antenna lease with the uh, AT&T and Winslow Towers amendment. We're gonna get some more money. Um, it's pretty simple. Jack and John have hammered it out. Um, Jack, do you wanna throw it out? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'd like to give John some praise. He did a lot of hard work um, to work this out, and, and we're pretty pleased with the um, with the lease amendment and the, the amount of funds that they propose to increase the contract by. It's currently uh, thirty four hundred, and this would increase it to thirty seven hundred dollars per month. So we're uh, we're pretty happy with with this um, with this proposed uh, amendment. That's pretty good. Anybody have any questions about that? So do we motion to consider it? So we're not like, like well, you would, fully accepting it or this is considering it? Yeah, you would motion to approve it. Okay, I motion to approve the first amendment to the antenna lease agreement with at and Do we have a second? Second. So that was 13 is moved by Fiorella, second by Nick. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Star? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. Ryan is a yes. So therefore, we don't need to go into executive session. If somebody wanted to debate numbers or something like that, we would go into executive session because of the confidentiality. So we do not need to do that. So 14 is just out. Uh, I'm sorry. Joanne? I just, I just want to say I want to congratulate Jack on getting all these projects done. Right. It's, just, um, it's just wonderful. I mean, most of these are completed or on their way or we have funding. 
And uh, it just took a tremendous amount of work on his part. So yeah. thank you. Pat. Exactly. Thank you. Um, no, and, uh, thank you. And, and, thank, and uh, thank you to the board as well. And, and um, you know, I also need to thank the maintenance department, you know, Chris Partridge, uh, Rolly Demers, um, the foreman and the other maintenance mechanics in that, on that side of the house, because their hard work is, a, is the reason we're able to get this done. That's a huge group effort, and I think maybe come September, Jack, let's uh, let's let's plan a cookout for the staff and board. And we can make everybody, you know, come September at some point. Yeah. So put that in the agenda there. Um, number fifteen, approval of the regular minute meetings of six sixty twenty two. Any questions on those? I motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of six sixteen twenty twenty two. Second. So we have moved by Fiorella, second by Nick. All in favor? Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick. Yep. And Brian is a, a yes as well. Um, number 16, approval of the special meeting and the annual plan meeting hearing minutes of 6-22-22. This is uh, the one that Gar took over and ran. So, um, I didn't attend, and Nick, I don't think you were there either, right? So, so we, yeah. we would abstain then from the, from the vote, but um, we have a motion to approve those. Motion to approve the special meetings and annual plan hearing minutes of 6-22-2022. Second. So that is moved by Fiorella, second by Joanne. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? I wasn't there, so I abstain. Abstain, and Brian will also abstain. Um, approval of the annual choice voucher hearing minutes of 630. Can you have any questions on that? We have a motion to approve those. I motion to approve the annual HCV hearing minutes of 630 2022. We have a second. Second. Okay, so number 17 is moved by Fiorella. Second by Nick. Uh, all in favor, Joanne? Yes. Agar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. Nick? Yes. Brian's a yes. Uh, local tenant organizations. Jack, do we have anybody on? Jack. Um, I, I don't see anybody on. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? I, I see that. I see Jen, that's all. Jen Hernandez? Yep. Um, I see. Yep, there's this too. Lisa's on and but she, I think Lisa keeps jumping in and off, but I, I, Doreen's here. I'm going to put her on. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Doreen? Doreen Curley from uh, Winslow Towers. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep. How about that, Doreen? Hello. So, hi, Doreen. So, Doreen, typically at these meetings, we allow the presidents and tenant associations to address the board, and we, we, we really don't to hear maintenance or issues of that magnitude because those are reserved for your face-to-face -face meetings that follow this meeting with Jack and Chris and the staff um, that happened within the week following this meeting. So we like to hear about really what's going on in the building, what are the what tenant activities do you have planned, how can we help you with those social activities and things like that. So that gives you a little heads up there. Um, we just had a nice cream social which was very successful. I wasn't able to attend because I just got over COVID. Mm. Um, we just started having um, game night. We're doing another one next month. The people are looking very, they're looking forward to that because we had such a successful one the first time and word got around. So a lot of people are looking forward to come to the next one. Um, that's all we have planned for right now until we get back together in September when I actually step in because, um, I actually don't step in until September 1st, but uh, I am, I, I am treasurer right now. I I'm the treasurer right now. So I still do the activities. So that's what's planned as of right now is just the game night. Great. Jack, um, that's a the spot but i assume we're doing cookouts again at the different buildings come the fall we are and um i, I realized that i i forgot to put my executive director report on the agenda for this but oh. that was that was on my that was on, Let's, you know what let's get, the, 
So let's get to you after we have public participation that you can give you a report. Sorry about that. I didn't even notice. But, but just, just to give a little bit of recap, yes, we are going to be doing the cookouts in September. We're going to be solidifying those dates and uh, notifying <laughs> residents of when those are going to be. But on the other side, National Night Out is going to be taking place uh, on August 2nd uh, at yeah. the Thompson, Thompson School Field. And that's going to be a great event uh, between the Arlington Police Department, Arlington Housing Authority, and then also uh, with the Minotomy Manor Tents Association. I'd like to you know, thank the Housing Authority staff, Lynn Selv and Tricia Oregon, who have really done a lot of work with this, as well as uh, Jen Hernandez, Lisa Hersey, um, the great work they've done, um, and as well as the um, um, the police officers like um, Officer um, Officer Kniff and Officer White, um, as well as um, Captain Flynn, and, and also, of course, with the support of uh, Chief Flaherty. Great. Great. Can I interrupt something? Yeah, go ahead, Dorian. We are, I forgot to mention, we are planning for the first time a Christmas bazaar. Um, the, we're, it's for in-house only and it's for our tenants and their families only. And they're very excited about it. And it's a committee that's doing it. And they're meet, they've met once, they're meeting in August and they're very excited about this, to, to do this. And hopefully it will be very successful. Nice, nice. It's good to get back to normal. To whatever normal is here now yeah exactly yeah that's great and thank you for stepping up um it's a, we we have a difficult time getting folks to step up at some of the buildings and winslow has always been a very active and fun place so thank you you're welcome um moving on to jen hernandez anatomy manor thanks brian um so we just had a movie night um for the kids we had some technical difficulties um, which um, actually didn't deter the fun for them. They were all um, very happy. We got a popcorn machine and um, had freeze pops and um, are planning another one before uh, National Night Out and then most likely one that evening um, following the National Night Out. And um, we are gonna be starting to do a newsletter um, for the residents and um, to take you up on your uh, offer to help with uh, get with the meetings, um, I'd like to chat with you at some point about doing uh, showing me how to do Zoom to set up a Zoom meeting, so we yeah, can. Yeah, I, I mean, Jack is list. Jack's definitely the genius on that one. Uh, okay, well then, genius Jack, then uh, I guess we will <laughs> get together and uh, you can show me how to do a Zoom meeting. Great, yeah, that'd be great. That'd okay. be great. Yeah, and um, okay. that's it. We're looking forward to National great. Night Out and um, any additional help we can be, we're definitely here. Great, thank you. Thanks. Um, and so I don't see any of the other presidents on. Presidents on. Um, so let's move on. Jack, do you have any emails from general public? Not, nothing from, uh, no comments uh, this, okay. this month. So why don't we go into your executive director's report? Um, so just some of the things that are going on, uh, we're in the process of preparing to rebid the fire alarm system upgrade at the Hauser building. Uh, that was the project that actually got held up because uh, the bids were so high. Um, so we're very thankful to CDBG for providing us that $350,000 um, because that's gonna allow us to uh, move forward with rebidding that project and um, moving forward with the project. So uh, we're excited to start that process. Um, there are a number of other, of other projects that are, as you, as you know, that are gonna either be entering the design phase like the one we voted on today um, or ones that are currently in the design for phase that we're hoping to move forward um, with the bid process in the coming months. So uh, there'll be more news and information related to some of the upcoming projects. Um, and the maintenance team is um, already doing a great job trying to prepare for um, the numerous projects coming up. So we have confidence in their ability to, to, to handle that. Um, also, uh, as I mentioned, we met with uh, DHCD and New Ecology this past month. Uh, relative to the air source heat pumps and um, for Chestnut and Winslow, as well as the potential new windows um, that would be provided by New Ecology at Chestnut Manor. Um, both are looking very promising and, and I'm hopeful to receive some good news uh, with that over the next uh, month or so. So um, I will keep you informed and hopefully we have something to, to vote on at the next meeting or the one after that. Um, they had inspections. Uh, the first phase of inspection started this month and um, they're, they're moving along, Chris and Rolly and, and the maintenance team 
and the property managers are, are moving through that and um, identifying some of the different maintenance related um, items that we need to get on as well as um, assisting residents in addressing any violations, if any. Um, we'll start the second phase in the early fall. We switched over, we're in the process actually of switching over our internet and cable provider, um, which will provide us a substantial savings. Um, we're gonna be switching from Comcast to RCN. It's um, where we hopefully, um, actually I got word that the, the switch should have been completed today. And hopefully everything is in good working order and I can make the call to Comcast on Monday to uh, terminate service. Um, as I indicated, National Night Out is going to be on August 2nd. It's going to start at 5 p.m. and it should end around um, 7 p.m. or sometime shortly after that. Uh, we're really excited about this event and are grateful um, to not only... Oh, sorry, Nick. Real quick. Where, where is it again? Did you say it was going to... It's at the Thompson School Field. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, so um, last year, um, Arlington Police Department had done... A, had tried to get the event going in some manner and they used Thompson School Field and there was some success with that and, and the ability for the kids to really kind of run around and um, have that extra space to interact with the police officers and um, create that, the, well, the spirit of the event. Well, what time, and Jack? What time? It starts at 5 p.m. And um, it's going to be a great collaborative effort. Um, Town of Arlington is sending staff from numerous departments, from health and human services and, and otherwise. Um, obviously there's gonna be numerous police officers there, Arlington Housing Authority staff um, and other agencies and nonprofits that are stakeholders in the pro process and can serve the residents of an autonomy manner. So we're, we're excited about this being really a great uh, collaborative community event where we're able to, um, to, to make sure number one, the autonomy manor residents are know about the different resources in the area, but also just to have a, have a good fun night and, and provide everybody a, um, a, just a, a fun night out. Um, and like I indicated, we're, we're in the process of solidifying the dates for the senior housing cookouts and hope to do that in the next week. Um, the summer help program is back and the, the resident of Anonymy Manor who is um, participating in that is already on the job and he's uh, doing a great job. And then on the staff update side where um, the, F, the FSS resident services coordinator position which was funded through Town ARPA and the property manager roles are in the screening phase. Um, we hope to be able to fill all these roles in the near future. Um, there have been some back and forth with that, but you know we're, we're confident we're gonna be able to find the, the right candidate for these roles and um, it's gonna be um, a real positive for the, for the authority. We did fill the certification specialist position. Um, Samuel uh, McCour um, started about two weeks ago and, and is already hitting the ground running. When you have those dates of the cookouts at the various facilities, can you flip them out to us so we can get them on our calendars soon? Absolutely. The same thing, pick one, a special cookout for the staff. Um, and same thing, that'd be great. Um, any other questions? Anybody have any questions? Carella? I have a comment actually, the, the speed bump at Monotomy Manor came through and I just wanna say thank you so much, Jack and Chris and just, <laughs> It's awesome. It's such a huge different difference. It really is. Um, and then the other thing too, hearing Doreen talk about this bazaar, this is awesome. I actually, um, a couple of months back, I talked to Joanne about this uh, from an Ottoman Manor too, to do like a market thing. Um, so I guess I'm just wondering now, am I like, do I add it to the agenda and discuss it with the board or do I discuss it with the TA first and then we put it in the agenda? What would you suggest? And what, what was it again? It's a market. Um, so I worked markets before and it's just like goods, like sell, selling merchandise, um, depending on each vendor, like they'll make their own items. Um, it's just like little, you know, if someone has a hobby and they're making something, it gives them the opportunity to be able to sell those things. And you want to do it down at the manor? I was thinking about it, yeah. I would do it through the association. Okay. I'd tie it in through the association, have them, you know, coordinate it, put it together, and certainly the building or, you know, um, if they need a tent or something like that. I mean, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Perfect. So I would first start, I would first start with the association. 
I yeah. You know, I don't think we need to have a vote on it. It's something the association can just do. Um, okay. Some infrastructure that they need. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. All so right. I think, I know. Yeah. Where is um, the bazaar happening again? It's Low Towers. Is there a? Did we get a date to, for that or no? I don't know if they've set a date, but it's gonna. They may have actually. You know what? I think they did tell me the date. It's just at my office at work, but it's um. Okay. I think it's mid mid December. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll confirm with Doreen. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. Uh, so last but not least, this so I'd like to propose um, um, September, October, November, December, taking uh, meetings on the road, um, and you know, starting with up here in the Heights, we, let's have a meeting at Drake, and then uh, Winslow, and then Cusack, and then Chestnut, and. Um, you know, we can still tie this Zoom for folks to dial in on Zoom. I think it's important to continue the Zoom thing. But I think if we, you know, we can, now that's assuming that we don't have another crazy COVID thing. Um, you know, uh, although my doctor said this new variant coming out, and, um, everybody should get this next shot in October. But but assuming that there's no crazy COVID thing, um, Jack, we plan September's meeting at Drake and then uh, go to Winslow and, and so forth. Um, anybody? <laughs> We're going, back to, we're going back to Wednesday nights. Or we uh, yeah, Wednesday nights, right. Yep. If that would Wednesday work for everybody still? Yeah, okay. Um, I just want to say, I think it's a great idea. When I'm watering the trees at Chestnut Manor, I, um, by the way, I have a high school student who's doing it. <laughs> um, nice. I went into the residence, yeah, for her community service. She's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and um, the... The women we met from Chestnut Manor were just delighted to have this young woman there. Yeah. Um, so, um, but they always, I always introduce myself as being on the board and they look at me like they've never heard of it. So yeah. I thought it's really good for them to know that we exist and who we yeah. are. Yeah, and we'll figure out how to do a meeting at Menonomy. That's a little, um, I mean, that building is, is, would, would probably work. Um, so we'll figure out how to put that in as well. Um, so unless anybody has any, Jack, any final comments or anything? Okay, anybody else, final comments? Enjoy the rest of the summer. It's going to go by fast. So uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Second. So motion by Nick, second by Fiorella. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Fiorella? Yes. And Nick? Yes. And Brian's yes. So thank you, everybody, and we'll see you, see you on the second. You bet. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night.